Hello and welcome back and today I want to do a software overview of the brand new QGD1600P, otherwise known as the Guardian NAS Switch. This is the brand new switch from QNAP that promises a number of cool features along with power over Ethernet connectivity for your IP cameras, full switch management interface, but of course it is all of these things and more being built in to a NAS. It's both a NAS and a switch with both systems running completely parallel at all times with a large element of crossover. Now I'm utilizing an open air environment right now so I apologize in advance if there's a little bit of an echo there on the edge of the audio. You know audio has always kind of been my kryptonite guys. Um, and as you can see from the interface that I've hopefully flicked to on screen right now you can see I've got the switch set up here with a few IP cameras connected into it and these are Axis power over ethernet cameras along with the TR004 4 bay hardware RAID NAS expansion. Now I'm hopefully going to do three videos. This is going to be the software overview of the QDG switch and I'm going to do a follow-up video afterwards uh, about expanded storage and some of the VM applications and finally I'm going to talk about QVR Pro based on this system. Now the user interface of the QDG Guardian switch, or just the Guardian, as I'm going to call it for the rest of this video, is very similar to normal QNAP NASes. And that's if you log into the NAS side of things. It runs on QTS 4.4.1 and has all of the features, functionality, applications, and more of the majority of QNAP NASes. It runs on that Intel Celeron 4th Gen CPU, and that's a J4115 processor. In fact, we can go in a little deeper and find out more. And that quad-core 1.8 gigahertz CPU can be burst up to 2.7. On top of that, the device also arrives with 8 gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded further for all of your VMs. And of course, the device runs everything from virtual machines to Plex Media Server to surveillance use to more. And with its dedicated VM installer that I'll talk about later on, there are also a number of cool features available on this switch that you can't get elsewhere. So, why is this cool? Well, first and foremost, because the NAS isn't all you're going to get. For those that have already watched my other videos, you'll know that this device is also a managed switch. It has two means of accessing the user interface, and as you can see here on the IP, on IP 1.98, we've got the NAS user interface, and on the IP.99, on the IP, we can see our switch with its full QSS management. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just briefly look at one side of the OS, and this is the NAS side of um, this is the NAS side of things here, and then I'm going to do a whole follow-up video on the QSS management side of things, but only touching on this here. So for today's video, part one of two of the software user interface, we're going to look at QTS 4.4.1 on the Guardian switch. Anyone that's ever utilized a QNAP NAS in the past, you're going to be very, very familiar with this user interface. All of the cool features are there. If you want to utilize this device for your business backups, not just your surveillance and your you know, network management, those options are available. The storage manager will give you a whole host of means and ways to create multiple storage areas for you and your connected users, be they client, staff, family members, or more. Now, the device arrives with two SSD bays, as you can see here. I say SSD bays, they are technically SATA 2.5 inch bays. Each of these bays can be put in a different kind of RAID environment from RAID 0 and RAID 1 being the options where you can have a mirror or combine that storage together. But as you can see here, we've also got four more bays currently available. These four bays that you're seeing on screen right now are from the NAS expansion device, the TR004. And you can connect multiple of these to expand the storage available on this device. Each of these can have their own preset hardware RAID or have the RAID controlled by the NAS switch itself. And moving forward, you can do a number of things, both uh, first party and third party, utilizing this device where you can access the data on these in a traditional sense of file, read, write, upload, download, but on top of that, you can access it for means utilizing first party devices. Um, now, the first party applications that QNAP offer, such as QMaggie, QSearch, QFiling, and more, are covered by both the internal storage of the Guardian switch 
and that four bay expansion device. So you can utilize a number of those storage features. And for those that captured my videos a week or two ago about hybrid mount and virtual JBOD, you'll be pleased to hear that storage can be shared both to and from this device in real time. Now, along with other, a lot of the other cool features of this device, in the NAS sense of the word, I'm pleased to say that there is also uh, a more streamlined and accessible router-based VM installer. So for those that have ever utilized applications such as uh, PFSense and other firewall apps, these can be installed in a far more express manner than traditional VMs with virtualization station. In fact, this device has different ways with uh, li not limited to Linux station, container station, the traditional virtualization station three, and of course, this new VM installer. With the VM installer, you can install different router-based applications to run within this installer, installed environment, and therefore, utilize these on the switch portion of stuff, which we'll save for part two of this video. Now, continuing onwards with the NAS-based access on this device, it's worth highlighting once again that all of the core applications and features that QNAP have made available over the last few years are readily apparent and easy to install thanks to QTS 4.4.1 on this device. But there is also the management of that switch. And once again, as I said, we're going to skirt over this and go into more detail on the next one. But you've got a dedicated user interface there on a separate IP, for the switch management user interface for creating lag, giving port priority and double checking quality of service. But on top of that, you can access it within the NAS environment. And this is one of many ways in which these two parallel systems within this one hardware device can still be connected. In fact, right now you may notice that I'm on a wireless connection. And that's because we've attached QNAP's own wireless PCIe adapter and its four antenna add-on which allows us to not only now have our NAS switch and PoE supported cameras and NAS all combined into one, but also it's a wireless access point too, a real all encompassing network solution for a number of you out there who have got small, medium, or even big businesses that need to create a very private, very restricted, but maintainable network environment. Now, all of the other cool applications that you would expect are readily available here. As mentioned, we've got the VM application from Virtualization Station, the new VM installer, Container Station, and more. But because this device has got an HDMI out, we have got Hybrid Desk Station. Now, I've not installed it for this because I've done enough videos on Hybrid Desk Station, and I don't want to bore you guys to tears. But this has an HDMI out, which could be utilized for multimedia applications, surveillance applications, or standalone PC use. Once again, all within what is by the looks of things, just the switch, but it's ever so much more than that. Now, the user interface gives you everything that you would get in another QNAP NAS. The only limitation, and if you want to call it that, is of course the fact that it's those two, two and a half inch SATA bays. There's ways around that, as mentioned, with the external uh, expansion device, or utilizing 2.5 inch adapters where you can convert M2 SATA uh, SSDs into dual RAID 1 or RAID 0 2.5 inch drives using some of those Q&A adapters that we talked about in the channel before. All of the controls from QNAP from creating user groups, user environments, shared folders, snapshots, RAID and more are all readily available here. And thanks to Hybrid Backup Sync 3, you've also got a multi-tiered backup solution involved too. Now, I'm going to wrap things up here and move over to part two of this video where we're going to focus a lot more on the switch management side of things. But otherwise, if you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more and stay tuned for the next part, click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.